Tonight, the U.S. Supreme Court today agreed to hear a major gun control case that will likely determine whether Americans have a constitutional right to carry firearms outside of their homes. The high court has avoided Second Amendment disputes for more than a decade, setting this case up as a major test for the court's new conservative majority. Alice Barr from our nation's capital with the latest. The Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms is one of the most hotly contested phrases in the Constitution. And today, the U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to hear a case deciding whether Americans have the right to carry weapons outside of their homes. The Supreme Court said in 2008 that the Second Amendment provides an individual right to own a gun. The Second Amendment says the right to keep and bear arms. The court has never answered the question of what does it mean and bear. The new case is a challenge to New York state law that allows residents to carry a concealed handgun only if they can demonstrate a special need. The state says the law promotes public safety, but lawyers for the challengers argue it, quote, makes it virtually impossible for the ordinary law-abiding citizen to obtain a license. This is the first time in more than a decade that the Supreme Court has taken on a major gun control case, and it will be a big test for a bench that now has a strong concern majority, including three Trump appointees. The case coming before the high court at the same time as a fierce debate in the court of public opinion about gun laws, made only more urgent after a recent string of mass shootings. This is an epidemic, for God's sake, and it has to stop. President Biden signing executive actions and calling on Congress to expand background checks. But now the Supreme Court will have a say in how, when, and where Americans can bear arms. New York is one of eight states that limit who has the right to carry a weapon in public. From California and Hawaii to a cluster in the Northeast, the Supreme Court's ruling could have implications for them all. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.